In November of 1945, the Nuremberg trials of accused Nazi war criminals were conducted in Germany. In May of 1946, the Tokyo trials started in Japan. This is no ordinary trial, for here we are waging a part of the determined battle of civilization to preserve the entire world from destruction. Both trials shined light on the atrocities committed by war criminals in World War II. Seven decades have passed. The memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe, a haunting reminder of the Holocaust, stands in the center of Berlin. In Japan, however, in a prominent position in Yasukuni Shrine, stands a monument to Indian judge Rahabinod Paul, who raised objections during the Tokyo trials and insisted the Class A war criminals were not guilty. 28 Class A war criminals were sentenced during the hearings. But some modern experts believe the Tokyo trials were not enough. Wie sich die japanische Geschichte bei diesem Thema entwickelt hätte, wenn wir einen Tokyota Prozess gehabt hätten, der im Wesentlichen doch den Nürnberger Prozessen geähnelt hätte, es bedarf, glaube ich, wenig äh, historischer Imagination, kontrafaktisch äh, sich, sich vorzustellen. Why was Japanese biological warfare not condemned? Why wasn't the Japanese emperor judged? Why did Indian Judge Paul write a not guilty verdict for the Japanese war criminals? After 70 years, the trials haven't ended. We investigated and conducted interviews in both China and Japan and tried to find answers to these questions still lingering today. In March 2015, many rotten leg patients in Jinhua Zhejiang gather in the hospital waiting to see medical experts. More than 20 years ago, when investigating in the villages in Zhejiang province, Wang Xuan found a large number of patients suffering from rotten leg disease. Because these old people were poor and lonely, they went untreated. In order to help them, Wang Xuan and doctors from Shanghai Reijin Hospital came here to treat the patients. The doctors from Reijin Hospital also communicated with Burns experts in Shanghai with remote control glasses to guide them. In the 1940s, the U.S. Air Force hit Japan with air raids. The Americans had bases in Zhejiang province. Japan retaliated by launching attacks in Ningbo and elsewhere in Zhejiang, including biological warfare on a massive scale. The Japanese military spread pathogenic bacteria such as the plague, cholera, typhoid, and anthrax in Jinhua, Chuzhou, 
and Li Shui in Zhejiang. After the Japanese retreated, there were numerous outbreaks of these diseases among the local population. One of them was the rotten leg disease. A serious crime was committed by the Japanese army and it was left out of the trial. Unit 731 performed experiments involving giving cholera and plague to thousands of Chinese and people from other countries. They performed vivisections on people and used biological weapons in China. Wang Xuan once went to Japan to look for members of the Japanese army responsible, but failed. In front of the cemetery for Shiro Ishii, who was the head of Unit 731, Wang Xuan decided to bring those who launched biological warfare on Chinese people to justice. Ishii Shiro! You're the victim of the crime of the crime. 